Today, I'm going to be putting two different AIs to the test to see which one can make the best 5M script. So the two AIs we're going to be putting to the test to battle against each other to make the ultimate 5M script is going to be Grok AI and Chat GPT. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give them both the exact same prompt. And that prompt is going to be, I want to make a 5M script. So the first one to finish was ChatGPT, and it looks like it has made us a vehicle spawn script. And then following up from that was, of course, Grok AI. And funnily enough, it also looks like it has made a vehicle spawn script. But this one has something slightly different, and apparently this one does also control spawning. Both of them appear to have done it in very similar ways. Rather than giving us a zip, they've given us a file layout, and then we have to go ahead and make the files and copy and paste everything. But it is quite funny how they have both given us the same script, but Grok AI has got a little bit more of an advanced script as it does also manage spawning, which may also shoot itself in the foot. I don't know, but this is pretty interesting. So following up from that, I wanted it to be as easy as possible. So I decided to ask both Grok and ChatGPT to give me the 5M script in a zip. Both of them basically just told me no and that it can't give me it in zip form, which sucks because I wanted it to be as easy as possible. Now we're gonna have to go through and make all of the files. But ChatGPT actually took a lot longer to tell me no for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, basically none of them will do it. So now I think it's time to go ahead and make the scripts that ChatGPT and Grok have gave us. So I need to go ahead and set ourselves up a basic 5M server. So to do that, I'm going to be using my company, HG Network. I'm just going to be using our cheapest, most affordable package, which is just a basic server. So server is made and now we can go ahead and make the scripts. ChatGPT finished first, so naturally we're going to do ChatGPT first. It's making it pretty easy. It's given us the folder name we need to make and where. And now it's given us a FX manifest.lua. We do have to make the files manually, but Grok is the same. And we can just copy and paste everything it's given us into the files that we make. One thing I'd say to be aware of is if you don't know really how files work, you do need to change the file type to Lua and you do need to enable a setting on your PC in order to do that. It sort of skips over that, but I guess you need a little bit of basic knowledge with what it's given you. So I then proceeded to literally just go through its instructions step by step. It was not difficult to follow whatsoever. All I had to do was make the files it was telling me to do and where, and then copy and paste the exact code it was giving me. All I had to do then was go ahead and ensure that folder in the server.cfg, which in all fairness to ChatGPT, it did tell me to do. And then we need to load up in game and see if this script even works at all to begin with. So here we are in game. We spawned in. There doesn't appear to be any issues or errors, which is great. And you can see that everything's working as you would expect. And now all that's left to test is go ahead and go and view ChatGPT's instructions and see what it tells us to do to test the script. And you can see right here, what it tells us to do is use the spawn VEHV command and then put in a vehicle model name. So that is exactly what I did. I pasted it in, pressed enter, and to my surprise, it worked. And there's even a cool little notification in the bottom left-hand corner. And the vehicles drive, there's no errors in the F8 console. This actually had me shook how this has worked first time off the bat. So next up is Grok AI, and it is very, very similar in how it is getting us to make the script. But in my opinion, I actually prefer the way that Grok AI has given us the layout. It has given us a much more easy to understand file structure, and it is a lot more clear than ChatGPT. But again, it's very simple. It just tells us the files to make. It doesn't actually specify, again, that you need to set settings in your Windows PC to change file types, like I mentioned earlier. And then all you to do is copy and paste the code into that file. It's pretty simple and straightforward. So again, that's what I did. I went through Grok AI's instructions. I made the folders and the files it asked me to do, copy and pasted everything, and it was pretty simple. One differentiating factor with Grok AI compared to ChatGPT is actually a lot quicker to do. That's because it only gave us two files to make. I made sure I went through and I checked the instructions clearly again because I was a little bit confused. Turns out for this, all it gave us was a client.lua as well as the fxmanifest.lua. But ChatGPT gave us a client.lua, fxmanifest.lua, and a server.lua. But clearly, Grok thinks it's a little bit more optimized. And then again, all I had to do was go ahead and ensure the script in my server.cfg, which in all fairness to Grok, just like ChatGPT, it did tell me to do. So we have loaded into the server, and straight away, you will notice an issue. We have actually spawned under the map. I did mention in the beginning of the video, the two different factors between the scripts they was making was Grok AI was actually handling some spawn aspects. And I did say it might shoot itself in a foot and it looks like right here, it has indeed shot itself in the foot because we have spawned under the map, but it is a pretty simple solution. We can simply just teleport to anywhere else on the map. And there you go, we spawn nice and beautifully on the map like normal. 
So just like I did to chat GPT, I went back to Grok and I looked at what it told us to do to test the script. And that was by using a slash car command. So I went back in game and I tried to use the slash car command. And you will see right here, I got a little bit confused because no command prompt was popping up. And then I noticed when I backed out of the game, for some reason, my chat got stuck. I don't know if that is a result of the script. I think it might be because the other one didn't have this error. But I tried to use a command anyway, and you can see it did work perfectly. We spawned a vehicle, but we do have this issue with the chat getting stuck, which is pretty annoying. And I did try to restart the script to see if it go away, and it didn't. So I'm not sure if this is a result of the script or maybe just a Fiverr server bugging out. But definitely a not as smooth start as ChatGPT. So with both AIs proving that they can indeed make a basic vehicle spawn script, I decided to push them a little bit further to the limit. So I decided to ask both of them if it can make me a UI version of that script. So ChatGPT first of all actually failed to make me a UI version and it asked me to confirm if I just wanted a simple NUI page because apparently I have to log into ChatGPT otherwise. So I just said NUI. Grok on the other hand didn't complain at all and straight away decided it was going to make an NUI script without asking me and just did it. Because we did the first time, I decided we would start first with ChatGPT on the UI and exactly the same way we did last time. It's given us the files to make, where to make them and the folders and then just to copy and paste the code. It did specify to make a new HTML folder and then to make an index.html. So that's what I did. I went through, followed the instructions. It told us to make the index.html and it told us to edit the client and the server.lua from previous one. And then it did tell us to edit the FX manifest as well in order for it to read the changes we put inside of that HTML folder. And then we went ahead, ensured it once again, and booted up into the 5M server. And you're going to notice straight away, as soon as we load in, the menu has appeared. I, I don't know why, we've not done any commands, and it does indeed appear to be stuck on my screen, and I can't even interact with it. And you guys probably can't quite notice on the screen, but there's also a dark box over. You can see I can do absolutely nothing with it. Then I decided to try and give ChatGPT a second chance maybe and I explained the issue that I was experiencing and tried to get it to give me some fixes for it. It did indeed give me some fixes for it. It told me to edit some of the files, the client lure and the main lure, etc, the server lure. And then I went ahead and restarted the script. And straight away, you're going to see it didn't fix it. The issue is still here. You can't interact with it. It's stuck on the screen and it doesn't work at all. So next up, we got to try Grok AI. I would say again, Grok AI has done a much better job in explaining to me how I need to edit the files. It explained that not everything needs to be edited. And it does also give me a really good visual show of how to set up the file structure. I would say levels above how ChatGBT did it. But again, same way, we need to make the files manually and then copy and paste all the code over. So again, that's what I did. I made all the changes it told me to do and ensured it once again in my server.cfg and then loaded in game. And you're going to see as soon as we spawn in again, we've got this annoying spawn issue. So we need to teleport out of it. But then you're going to see we have a very similar issue to ChatGPT. Whilst we don't have that menu stuck on the screen, you guys can probably tell just by how dark it looks. We have like some sort of gray box stuck over the screen. But you can indeed see on this one. The menu works. We can type in a vehicle spawn code and we can spawn it using the spawn button. The UI works perfectly. It's just this gray box over the top. That's the issue. So just like we did to chat GPT, I went back to Grok AI and I gave it a second chance. I explained that it works, but then there's some weird gray box over the screen. Just like chat GPT did, it then went through and gave me some suggestions on how to fix it by editing some of the files. So that's what I went ahead and did. And then I restarted the script. And you can probably now see that gray box is gone, which means I think it has worked. And now all we have left to do is try and do the chat command again and see if the menu works. And there you guys go. It works. The vehicle spawner menu works. We can spawn it in the vehicle, click the buttons and everything works just like we intended it to. I'm actually surprised that Grok AI can make a script this good. So I decided before we write off ChatGPT that I give it basically a third chance and I explain to it what it did wrong. And in that case, what it did wrong is it didn't give me all the files that we need. It didn't give me a script.js or a style.css for the HTML folder. So again, it gave me the changes to make to the script. So I went through, made the changes, added the new files that it gave me, etc. Then went ahead, added the script in game and restarted the script. And straight away, you'll see the issue hasn't been fixed. It's still stuck on my screen. I can't interact with it. I think ChatGPT just absolutely sucks.
So I thought it'd be unfair if I was to give ChatGPT a third chance and not Grok AI to fix his issues. So I went ahead and explained to Grok AI the issue it's having where it's spawning me under the ground. So it gave me everything I needed to change. You guys probably don't know what I did. And I restarted back up the server so we could respawn. And to my surprise, unlike ChatGPT, you guys probably guessed it, Grok AI actually managed to fix its issue. You guys can see right here, we have now spawned in at the airport, which in my opinion is way better than before, and on the ground. We're not underneath the map. And just to be fair, I thought I would test the script to make sure everything's working like it was before. And indeed, it is still working just like it's intended to. So I decided at this point, ChatGPT is basically in the bin. So why not try and see if I can push Grok AI to its limits and see if I can make the UI maybe a bit better, make it look better, make it cooler, add some glowing or neon effects or something like that. So that's what I did. I asked Grok AI to make the UI look better. So I then went ahead and read what Grok AI told me to do. And indeed, it gave me a bunch of steps to edit the existing files once more to try and make the script a bit cooler UI design wise. And then restarted the script, loaded back in game, and then tried to spawn it. And just like that, the spawner looks infinitely better. We got some color to it. It looks a lot more like a unique script, not just made by AI. And it still works just like we intended. The one thing I don't like is the black box behind the screen. So I went back to Grok AI and I told it that, that it works, but there's an issue because there is a black box behind the screen. And then I also asked it to maybe add a cool effect when you spawn the car, like confetti or something like that, and make the script just a little bit better. So like normal, it told me all the scripts and changes I need to edit in order to do what I just asked for the final time. I loaded back in game, I restarted the script, and weirdly, it actually didn't work. It completely stopped working for some reason. Something that it gave me was wrong. So I decided to go back through what it told me to do and I tried to recopy and paste some of the stuff and I'm pretty sure it turned out to just be my error. I don't think I let it complete in time before I added some lines into the client.lua and then I restart the script and it worked absolutely perfectly. And we have this beautiful looking vehicle spawner which to be fair doesn't really look like it was made with AI. The one thing I don't quite like is how transparent it is, but you can see there, even when we spawn the vehicle, it plays a little firework animation, which is really, really cool. And I think this is the final version of the vehicle spawner that I'm happy with. So all in all, I would say that ChatGPT is way worse than Grok AI. If you do want to make a custom 5M script, you absolutely can do it with AI. And the best one to use, in my experience, is Grok AI.